Malta Airport. See you soon, England. This is the interesting thing about big cities, especially London. Everyone's afraid to look at each other. There's so much lack, so much density. You can actually feel it. It's like so heavy here. It's like seven, seven in the morning. And like, everyone's like, oh. Lift up the vibration of the place. It's, uh, it's dense, very heavy. And I'm just here smiling at people, trying. It's hard. But it's easy if you feel the love within yourself. And I'm trying to do it deliberately as well. It was as I was going through London on the train at like 5 a.m. in the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning, and it was, it was very peaceful and quiet. Of course, that city never sleeps, like most cities, but despite the quietness, I was just looking around and just observing and feeling the energy of the place, and oh, I feel like London is definitely one of the densest cities, energetically. It's very heavy and I could feel it as I was going through and I was like there's no way I personally could live in that space I'm a nature boy <laughs> but yeah it's it really hit home for me it was a reminder of more of what I didn't want in order to then realize what I did want so just in this very well, this Tudor building, I think it's been here for about 600 years or it's over 400 or 600 years here in Taunton in Somerset and finding this balance of like now being fully self-employed it's like right you've got to be your own boss you've got to well perhaps not so much stick to a to-do list as such but definitely keep yourself accountable keep yourself on point and I feel personally for me like routine and structure does help a lot but trying to stick to that is um, it can be difficult at times so of course it's only as difficult as I'm choosing to make it but I'm still adjusting to this kind of lifestyle and it's great I love it I'm so grateful but I've got to continue to serve. It's the only way I'm able to maintain this. Got to continue working towards this project that I'm building on. I love it. And thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, myself. The God within. As in the God that is within all of us. My heartfelt appreciation to all that is. I do love this place. It is gorgeous. <laughs> hey folks, Zach here. Back in the fields, back in the stomping grounds, back in England. Lovely place, very nice. It's nice to be out in the nature now and again. As often as possible actually, if I could. coming on this video really to talk about an update really so as I went about my travels I went to Italy had a lovely time it was it was nice it was really good great great experience to have as much as anything and 
yeah, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about certain things that happened, but like, I feel that I'm back here in England for a reason right now. But I'm also feeling that I'm not gonna be here for very long. Like I'm gonna go off to a different country. I'm not entirely sure where yet, but I'm waiting for that clarity. I'm kind of, I am speaking with God and in the best way I can and just kind of rooting through and getting that idea and that inspiration, getting into that state of inspiration and receiving that download at the right time. And yeah, I have a few things I'm focused on. So for a long time, I was before COVID, I was like working as a driver and that was that was supposed to be that was always for me like a stepping stone and i also had some digital marketing clients as well one of which during covid fell away i just realized that i wasn't the whole of myself behind that project or any of those projects actually because my passion for years now, for year, for like, for about, yeah, for like eight years has been about spirituality and learning about that. And so, while well, the digital marketing stuff, while I enjoyed it to a point, it was good. I never really had the whole of myself behind it. <laughs> I was always like working on that stuff, but then looking up, like researching channel material or studying like spiritual philosophy and reading books and things like that and I just recently come to the point of realization of like well why don't I merge what I'm so passionate about with my work and since I started to make that decision things started shifting in my reality in the work I was doing and things opened up I now have all of this time and I'm able to sustain myself and just support myself and while doing that and working towards that and it's great I feel so grateful to be able to be in this position now it's something that I've been manifesting for years like I said in a previous video when I was in Italy it's like I've been working towards this for so long and it's finally here and it's like oh like it feels so good it, I could never work a nine-to-five again I don't feel I would if I absolutely had to but it's not in my alignment right now and it's just, I don't ever want it to be again. I want to be independent. I want to be self-employed. I want to be, I want to be like a freelance coach, a freelance mentor in that way. And so that's what I'm really aligning to is just, I've realized I've started <laughs> in the past week or so, I've really started like working on my, working on my offering and really nailing that down. And to be honest, yeah, I'm right at the start right now. Like I know I have the knowledge. It's just a case of really putting it, putting it down on paper and kind of creating like a structure, like a course, like a, a process, a system that I can send people to and give to people in order for them to realize what they need to do. And Yeah, like that's one, that's certainly really what I want to do because it's like, well, I could guide all of these people one by one individually and basically give them the same rhetoric every time because that's essentially what I would do. Of course, it would be personalized to them, but like the overall practice of emotional healing is very much a simple thing. It doesn't need to be complicated. <laughs> so yeah, I'll systematize it, I'll put it into a process that everyone can follow. And there'll be branch out courses from that as well. There'll be aspects to it where there'll be courses, sub courses that kind of dive into specific areas. Like for example, someone's been abused in their childhood. Uh, they, were, they were physically abused. Well, there's, in order to help to heal the emotional wound behind that, that abuse wound, there needs to be a substitution. There needs to be the opposite of that abuse brought into oneself. So 
in that regard, it would be like, yeah, so kind of getting an idea together for people to help them rebalance their emotions and their mindset towards certain things. I'm talking very fast. I'm feeling really good today and the sun's out and today's good. So, but yeah. So I'm working on that. I'm working on this process of getting this nailed down. And for the first time, I know that this is something that I can get the whole of myself behind, which is important. You know, it's like before, as I was saying with my digital marketing stuff, I was never really 100% fully behind it. I was never 100% fully passionate about it. It wasn't my business as such. I was doing it for other people. Whereas this is, I'm doing it for other people, but I'm, I'm doing it from my own accord. I'm starting from my own center. This whole thing comes from me. And it's, I love that because I know what I'm like. I know that I'm a bit of a perfectionist, that's for sure. And when I'm creating these, this content and these processes and these courses and this mentorship program as such for people, it's gonna be done to the absolute best of my current level of consciousness. And what more could someone ask for? Well, <laughs> I mean, I can't ask for much more, of course, but yeah, so I'm really excited about this and I'm just currently in this field right now on my bicycle and I'm gonna cycle into town I sold my car to, as, as part of the process of making this trip and just the burden of having a car is pretty big and that was a part of the reason why I wanted to get rid of it but and of course yeah like so I don't know where I'm going to travel to next in the world right now I'm back here in England and making the most of the September weather because of course England being England in a couple of months time it will be freezing cold which is okay but I want to I want to explore I want to travel I want to have a place to myself ideally like a log cabin that has wi-fi <laughs> that's the only vice I know but a log cabin somewhere that's isolated and just yeah is somewhere I can really be at peace and real quiet calm tranquility so that's what I'm moving towards and however that chooses to manifest or however that does manifest I will be welcoming it with open arms so just a little update uh, I want to be doing more spiritual based topic videos again but right now my focus is really on getting all of this stuff sorted out getting my foundation for this new way of me serving others completely laid down, nailed down to the ground while also being flexible about it, not trying to plan ahead too much, but yeah, just doing it, doing it how it feels right to me at this current time. So I'll take it from there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day and a wonderful week and I send you all infinite amounts of love that I can muster and of course source itself so much love to you all blessings goodbye <laughs>